Hold up. Hey, what's up, Machine Freaks? There are only three days left of this giveaway. Win either the KTM, the Honda, or the Instigator. I'll fly you out here. Seth, Jake, and I guess Jason want to hang out. We'll get all f***ed up on root beer. We'll then send whatever you want, whatever item you want to win, to your house. Don't got to worry about anything. Just cop something super froggy fresh, something super fly. That's all you got to do. <laughs> Sloppy girls, just like me, don't like it when they only have one tip. What is up, Jake Paulers? I hope you guys are feeling froggy fresh and fresh to death. Today we have a little bit of a science experiment. The gators got uh, some more paint on it. But what's really interesting is what's in this box over here. I have yet to really open it. So I know what it is, but I don't know how well it's going to work. It had mixed reviews, and I wanted to try it because, you know, you never know. So I guess that's all it is. You hook that up to your pressure washer, and you put this in the sand. I'm very curious on how well this will really work. This is a consumable tip. I hope this consumable tip lasts a while. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be a very, very happy camper because we only have one tip. Sloppy girls, just like me, don't like it when they only have one tip. Is that gonna fit? Oh my goodness, it fits. Extra length. All right, so the purpose for buying this thing is because I don't want to sandblast. I've, I bought a sandblaster in the past, didn't like it because the sand went everywhere. Unless you have it contained, it's not very fun. Even when it is contained and you get shocked, even when I wore rubber gloves, I got shocked. So this is just kind of a, an experiment, really. Here's the gun setup right here. And I have, how many pounds of sand do I have? I think I have 100 or 120 pounds of sand. There's two bags here. Yep, 50 pounds. Now here's our first test subject here. The wheel's already off. It's really not in too bad a shape. It probably could just use some paint. Right here, there's a little bit of scratching, though. Let's give it some water. Try this thing out. This thing has a soap tip. If you put this tip on it, it'll suck soap. It goes through the pump though. This is just doing the mixture at the tip. So I'm, mixed reviews, mixed reviews. I'm 50-50 at this point. The concept makes sense. Will it work? Will the ads be real? Find out. Oh man, there's already sand in the frickin' thing. I should probably get some safety glasses. It's already impressing me. Alright, we have sand. Oh my god, it worked! It actually works! Check that out, that's freaking awesome! You guys, the link to this will be in the comments below, in the description. And also, anything like I use, like tool-wise, on this channel is at machinemerch.com or 3dmachines.co. This is gonna be awesome! I'm gonna be able to revive everything with this thing. This is where some people screw up when they have stuff like this. I gotta buy a water bottle. I'll, I'll explain in a second. Buy, buy two of them. Actually, we'll go with two of the same color. Yeah. All right, so now here's the secret in this box here. All right, so I know this for two reasons. Uh, one, because when I did the bed on the Nissan, before I had the Duramax, I had a Nissan Frontier and I built a bed for it. Well, when I built that bed, I ground it all down, it had brand new metal on it. I wanted to clean the frame and you know, I wanted stuff to be rust free. Well, I sandblasted it with a dry sander and then I was stupid and I cleaned off the dust, cleaned off the dust with some water. Now, as soon as I did that, the iron in the water and the evaporation of the water screwed up the, the whole surface and I had a flash rust. Now, what I should have done is I should have the second reason is because I went to college and I understand a little bit more about, uh, you know, what happens there. 
in that process. So what you have to do is you have to stop slash slow down that process. You can't completely stop it, but you can slow it down. And that's what this stuff right here is. This is also linked in the description. Hold tight. This is what you need. Otherwise, you're going to be screwed after you sandblast your stuff. So these two water bottles here are going to be used. We're going to mix a 1 to 100 ratio with this stuff. And these squirt bottles are going to be really convenient because we're going to have a very, very efficient, very efficient process because we can focus strictly on the area that we're using and we're not just spraying this stuff with a hose like everybody else does. So we're going to do a 1 to 100 ratio. This is a 20, 28 ounce. So even if I put one ounce, the, the smallest mark here is three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three ounces in this bottle and then just split that in half between the two. And we'll have about a one to, what is that, 25 ratio? So it'll be four times as strong. Yeah, so you need that stuff. Otherwise, you're going to sandblast this stuff. You're going to let it dry, and it's going to flash. Whether you see that flash or not, it's going to flash. You don't want that. So instead of working on that wheel out there, because that tire is not going to be replaced, and I don't want to screw up that tire. I don't know how much the sand will screw it up, but I don't want it to screw it up. However, I am replacing this tire. So I'm going to take this wheel and tire right off. We'll sandblast this thing, try out the whole tight and the sandblaster itself. See what happens. Doesn't look like it's flashed that yet, and it's been about 15 20 minutes, so I guess it's a little longer than I anticipated. It's still not dry though, like all the area around it, it's not dry. This stuff works pretty freaking good. One wheel and a test took about 20, probably about 28 pounds. So if it can do wheels, what I really would like to do is get the Duramax going. I don't like seeing the frame like this from the side. It's just, you know, brown doesn't really go with black. So I kind of want to do something about that. Not only that, but it's, you know, it's, it's devaluing the truck, which is not good at all. So I want to do this. I ordered some paint just a minute ago so I can pick that up in a few minutes on my bike. I also want to get the tank there. You can see the tank is rusting out. I mean, structurally, the truck is sound. I just really want to get most of the stuff that you can see. Like I want to redo my bumper as well. But I want to really, my first objective is getting this frame set up. I guess something went wrong with their system because I get here and the confirmation doesn't exist. I go to my email and it doesn't, didn't go through. So uh, I guess we'll just work with what we got. I looked on the shelf and I didn't see the stuff that was online. So maybe that's what happened. I kind of jumped ahead you guys, but I did sandblast this and it took about a third of a bag. And I did all of this frame here, did a little bit of the leaf springs on the front and back here turned out pretty dang good this is sandable no 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 this is prime and etch i'll show you what the other side looks like after i'm done sandblasting it but i'm going to try a different paint to apply after then i'll do the comparison to see which one is the better product the passenger or the driver now the passenger i'm going to use uh rust-oleum's rust reformer which converts ruts into you know a good surface well we'll see that if we sandblast it 
that should make it even better. So if it converts rust, it should convert like a 99% clean surface. Well, the Power Strong must have got a little nervous because we're working with a Duramax. For some reason, this thing doesn't want to run now. I ran it out of gas. Now it doesn't want to fire back up. So I'm assuming that it's carburetor stuff. As you can see, I have the air filter off. Gonna tear this sucker apart. See what the heck's going on. Hopefully there's just a piece of dirt in one of the jets and we'll get back to this process. Power Stroke, come on now. You can compete a little bit, can't ya? After another third of a bag, you can see what this frame looks like after you're done doing it. Doesn't that look sick though? Okay, let's see what this sucker can do to an aluminum wheel. Granted, this isn't steel, so it's a softer material. It still has a lot of brake dust and deposits on it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay further away, kind of just hit it a little bit and then hit it with some aluminum polish. But here's the before. And just like that, that's what the finished rim looks like. It still puts out that, it's like, it's like the same thing as steel, really. It puts out that kind of textury look. Yeah, I would have thought that it would have polished it a little bit more because it was aluminum. I took the polish to it. It looks way better than it did, so I'm interested to see what the oxidation does to this because, you know, we're not going to clear coat this. We're going to let, you know, since it's aluminum, it oxidizes, it doesn't really rust, and it doesn't get too ugly. So I'll let you guys know in the future, but this is what it looks like after just hitting that with the with our setup over there. So yes, I absolutely do love this thing, you guys. It'll be in the description, the comment section, and on my website. It definitely makes the wheels look good, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy lug nuts. Those are on their way. Like I said in the beginning of this 3D Machines production, there are only three days left of this giveaway. I'm gonna fly you out, the winner. You can come hang out with us, have a froggy fresh time, get all up on root beer with Seth, Jake, and I guess Jason wants to hang out as well. We're dropping new stuff on the website all the time, so check it out. We just dropped these turbo keychains, and we just dropped these. And we also dropped these like Swift's Army Knife pliers. They're awesome. Comes with a few shanks, definitely could come in handy. Three days left, that's it! <laughs>